hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampathy watching sampath samfx youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews i'm back with me a regular you know, editions most uh, wanted video in my channel because many people are asking about that i had a plan to make a lineage os and something other all but people asking me about this again and again and say flash this recollection because the previous version was very good the experience in the ui is really good let's see how it is current in the current version and what all the improvements they have done is there any bugs or anything like that is the fast sharing supported how is the battle life how is the gaming experience everything will be seen in this video and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also all of the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys and here we go first the quick settings panel looks very similar to any other mi 14 based custom roms you can see it's smooth interface wise it is smooth and there are some options to customize them i'll explain within a bit and this are the toggles you get and if we go into settings the versions and details let's see you can see my device it's showing me a recline edition 14.0.1 stable edition here it is showing x3 nfc as you can see battery capacity 560 mh but for uh, for reference it is given like that but my variant is indian variant this having 6000 mh battery but this does not include nfc but this rom is applicable for both the devices and that's the intention of my entire videos you can flash any custom rom on these two devices it will work fine the battery life may vary that's the only thing on charging speeds obviously because of the battery uh, capacity you can see and if i go into detail info and specs you can see android version is 12 here i was expecting it to be brought with android 13 but anyhow and you get this uh, ram expansion up to 2 gb let's check that later and security patch is a uh, february one here and recurrent edition as i said is 14.0.1 stable edition kernel user is 4.14.190 puff kernel has been used here which is quite a good kernel here and this is how typical home screen you get if you press and hold here you can arrange these icons into folders and something you can edit the icon also that's present here if you go into widgets again you can see this kind of widgets has been given if you want to add any pet animal for example this dog as you can see you can add them that's not the problem here everything is going to work fine as you can see that's how simple it is and minus one screen you get this app vault here and this is how typical home screen and if i show you di dialer it's a proper miui dialer as you can see direct video call feature is also available and call recording feature is also available that's fine this is how the app drawer you get it's a little bit uh, transparent mode you can customize them this is how it is let me start this app uh, results later i will go to settings now the anti benchmark here i got a very good score you can also judge the app opening time you can see 364997 temperature is 2.9 degrees celsius and battery drop is 2 percent during this entire testing of anti benchmark results in mi very you know 14.0.1 edition of Android 12. safety and status let's see in the previous version it was getting pause here it's getting failed again cts profile match you need to manually fix that you have to use the payment applications like google pay phone pay you need to manually fix that and uh, you can uninstall some of the apps as you can see when you can and some of the apps will get pre-installed here like google home go android tv and something like google news and this drive if you want you can keep them if you don't want you can uninstall them that's fine actually and even this uh, app you can see you can disable some of the system apps which is quite a good here and to, to sorry the gig win scores are very good in the miui based roms i get very good score of single score at least 557 is a single and multi is 1648 and kernel as i said 4.14.190 linux color and android version is 12. DRAM info you will not get uh, you will not get any problem regarding watching ott in high definition resolution hence it is l1 certified camera you get a proper miui nx camera without leica integration you can see all the features are working fine you can see even google lens is pre-included here macro mode everything is working fine and clone feature vlog nothing new and there is no leica integration it's very simple application if you want to use any 
advanced gcam ports those are also available you can check out my telegram channel people will just comment down if you watch entire video i'll be explaining which type of camera i use in particular roms if you don't watch the video and if you still comment that i don't want to help you those people because watching videos will help you a lot better then you can ask for links at least it will be available in telegram itself in the dedicated video only i have explained that anyhow further moving into some of the other results i hope explained everything here i will get fm ready also and gallery whether we get uh, before that let me show you this cb throttling test i forgot to mention this out you can see minimum is of 125 and maximum is of around 188 and average is 162 and it's throttle to 81 percent of its max performance and this is a 15 minutes 100 threat test guys and i can say it's a very good rom it has maintained that uh, performance orientation uh, custom rom in the previous version what we have seen that is still maintained the ui is very very responsive and smooth enough to handle all your tasks will be showing the bgma also before that i want to show these options as you can see recognize text and other edit features whatever i explained in the previous miui uh, sr edition those customization in terms of applications i am saying not the sr lab other customization you need to use the same sr edition only but what i want to say is me 14 features have been included here let's move into actual settings and here you get this kind of quick settings panel this is the player you see here and this is the uh, smart home applications you can remove that card yeah now moving into settings this is how actual settings looks like it is smooth i haven't faced any issues in this particular rom now my device already shown you recall and security status and other things are very similar wallpapers and personalization you get here plenty of wallpapers pre-included those are mostly uh, recalling a type of wallpapers as you can see this is the wallpapers you get nothing me 14 wallpapers has not included here default font again you can change here for example my favorite is like this one i will try this like this you can change the font also Okay, anyhow, I forgot the name. Anyhow, like that, you can change the font also. You can adjust the size of the text too. And ringtones, notifications, everything remains the same. You won't get any always on display here. This is the lock screen timeout feature. And display settings again, you get light mode, dark mode. Dark mode is working very fine. As you can see, it's in pitch black condition. You get other more dark mode options too. Also, you can add individual apps to uh, perform the dark mode. I'll disable for time being and you get this color scheme mode. You get all the options. I kept saturated and warm. Warmness in the display is a little bit better to your eyes. And refresh it, uh, you get only these two options. Uh, separate custom option hasn't included. Even 90fs option is also not good. Reading mode is also again in front even better then you can use this reading mode you can schedule both dark mode and reading mode text size again i explained these are the things you get in the display and notification and control center again you get control center style switch on collapse after touch additional cards if you want you can keep them out these things has been included here passwords and security you get fingerprint and face unlock let me show you that first fingerprint unlock both press and touch options are given i'm using touch now you can see it is taking a little bit of time even in the previous version the same speed it had and face unlock is also quite fast here face unlock is always faster in my best rooms that is present here too and moving into some of the other settings like home screen again regarding this uh, home screen launcher i explained in many of the videos so i will simply glance it within a while you get default launcher and show recent show icons in the settings summary in the settings animation speed you get these three animation rate you can adjust you can disable them system navigation and gesture and buttons you can get here minus one screen you can opt it out app vault again if you want you can disable that home screen with app door classic light mode and app suggestions and regarding backgrounds and all i said this transparency you can make it out here home screen layout also you get up to 9 into 16 and rounded widgets classic widgets old widgets remote text in the widgets folder folder bar folder bounce effect and icons again you can customize here 
you can keep this kind of uh, themes based on tips icons also you can see and items in recent you can adjust ios style recent apps and some of the other customization can be done from here blur app previews those things are given here and into battery again if you want a very good performance try it in the performance mode individually you can turn it out using the uh, what game space here and the battery life is quite a good here it's a balanced rom for uh, poco x slash nfc so mio best rom is a very good balance custom rom available for poco x slash nfc if you go into additional settings again region wise you get all the regions you can check out here you can check out because people ask me about these things too regions all are available regarding the languages again check out here people ask me whether arab language is available or not hence i am slowly moving it out check out whether it's available or not and some of the other indian uh, regional languages are also present in this custom rom okay and this is the options you get special features all apps i mean uh, file access and floating windows sidebar is also included memory extension only up to 2 gb is given led light and second space these are present in this custom rom and enterprise mode no one will use that location and google maps are working fine even call uh, calling while internet and all 4G plus connectivity is also there. Wi Fi internet connection is also quite a good here in this particular ROM. Everything is fine here if you want to use it as a Delta to go and flash this ROM. If you don't mind, it's a older version, you can even try the older version slightly better. I will say 1 to 2 percent, little bit better in terms of performance and everything. You can try the older version of my Reclino edition. That's my uh better choice i can say for you uh, if you want to flash this also you can flash it out and use it as a daily driver that's all guys in this video if you have any specific questions regarding this rom or any other roms you can also join my live streams once in a week weekend like that i will be making it out check out my channel continuously or regularly at least hence you will be in touch with me and flashing method again i am using firmware 14.0.1 global only for any smartphone i am saying it's even it's a european model as a global model or a indian model like this flash the same firmware 14.0.1.0 for not this rom for some period of time use the same firmware and flash the rom zip file and format the data and reboot to system if it's a vanilla build flash the z apps separately this is how the flashing method i made a dedicated video on that go and check out my channel that's it guys in this video if you have any specific questions ask me we'll meet you with another interesting video and that keeps smelling bye bye for now